welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast, Lesson 3-7, Exponents. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and this is my son, Bryson. He just wanted to say hey to all my students. Hey. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Okay, our quote tonight is by Confucius, and that's a painting of Confucius. He lived a long time before cameras were around. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. And that just means, no matter how many mistakes you make, Get up and try again. Our learning goal today is to use exponents to show repeated multiplication. Here are our learning goals. We're going to identify the base, identify the exponent, write a number using exponential notation, write a base and exponent in expanded form, and write a base and exponent in standard form. Here's our vocabulary. Exponential notation, that sounds like a huge complicated thing, but it just means to use a base number and an exponent to show repeated multiplication of the base. So you can see an example of that where you see that large three and the little tiny five up to the right of it. That's three to the fifth power. The base is the number to be multiplied by itself. That's the number we write down. That's that large three in the example. The exponent is the number that tells us how many times the base is multiplied by itself. So it's really just an instruction. It isn't something we multiply by, it's just how many times we write the number three in that case to multiply by itself. Here is an example. We're going to use that previous example, three to the fifth power. So we're going to write 3 to the 5th power using exponential notation first. So we write the number that's going to be multiplied. That's 3. That's our large number. Think of it as the base. The base of something is usually on the bottom, so it's going to be bigger than the other number. And to the 5th power means we're writing a little tiny 5 up here. Remember, this is just an instructional number. It's not a number that we're going to write down when we write it out in expanded form. It's just, it just tells us how many times to write this number. Then we're going to write it out in expanded form. So I'm going to write the number three five times. Three times three, there it's twice. Times three, now it's three times. Times three, there's four times. Times three. So when we multiply this, we get three times three is nine. Nine times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. Forgot to draw my arrow there, didn't I? And 81 times 3 equals 243. Now, writing it right here this way, this 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that's an expanded form. Remember, we're taking that number in expanded form and stretching it out. We're expanding it like a rubber band. But then standard form is the typical way we write a number. So this 243 down here, that's standard form. So that's the three different ways we're going to be writing it during this lesson. Exponential notation, expanded form, and standard form. Now we're gonna do some practice. You can always rewind and watch that previous part or you can just look at your notes that you just took. We're gonna write the following practice problems using standard form. So we'll be modeling expanded form, but we'll be showing you standard form. Five to the fourth power. Go ahead and first write it in exponential notation. That'll just help you and then write it in expanded form because otherwise you'll make a mistake and then write it in standard form. Pause and push play when you're ready. Did you write 625? Let's check out how we did that. So I've written 5 to the fourth power and I put an exclamation point after which we don't usually put in math but I have so much fun doing these that I had to do it. So 5 to the fourth power written in exponential notation is 5 and there's my little four that tells me how many times to write it. So now I'm gonna write it in expanded form because I don't wanna accidentally multiply five times four, which would be 20, that would be wrong. So five times five times five 
times five. I now have five multiplied five, four times. So five times five is 25 times five. 25 times five is 125 times the last five equals 625. So that is my standard form, 625. Number two, one to the tenth power. Go ahead and write it in all the formats and then push play when you're ready. Did you write one? That was a little bit tricky. Let's see how we did that. So writing one to the tenth power in exponential notation, my one is my base or my large number there and my 10 is my exponent, which is my little tiny number up there. And that tells me that I'm going to multiply the number 1 by itself 10 times. So I'm going to write 1 times 1 times 1, there's 3, times 1, there's 4, times 1, there's 5, times 1, there's 6, times 1, 7, times 1, 8, times 1, 9, times 1, 10. I better count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this looks like a lot of numbers to multiply together, but remember the identity property of multiplication. Anytime you multiply a number by 1, it's always that number. 1 times 1 is 1, 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 times 1 is 1. So our expanded form actually equals one. There's our standard form, one. Number three, now write two to the sixth power in all the different forms. Push play when you're ready. Did you write 64? Let's see how we got that answer. So now we're writing two to the sixth power in exponential notation. So 2 is our base, that's our number that we'll be multiplying, and 6 is our instructional number or our exponent. So we know that we're going to write the number 2 six times. 2 times 2 times 2, there's 3 times, times 2 times 2 times 2. That's our expanded form. Now we'll multiply them all together to get our standard form. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, see we're still right above there, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2, there's that number, is 32, and 32 times 2 is 64, so 64 is our answer written in standard form. It's time to challenge yourself. The volume of a cube is found by multiplying its length by its width by its height. What is the volume of a cube that is 9 inches on each side? Write your answer in exponential notation, expanded form, and standard form. Explain your answers in your journal. Come back tomorrow ready to check. Finishing up, go ahead and go back over your learning goals. Do you know which number in exponential notation is the base? Do you know which number is the exponent? Do you know what each of them means? If you don't, go back and watch this again. Remember, you can watch this as many times as you need to. The important thing is that you're learning. That's much more important than just completing the activity. Go ahead and write down if you're at a level one, a two, or a three so that I can help you tomorrow get to that level three. And write down in your journal any questions that you still have. You have completed lesson 3-7 on exponents. I'm excited to see you tomorrow.